What's up, guys? What's going on? I'm Fred Easy here, going to work. Um, so I got this fluctuating temperature going on. I believe I got some air in the system. Uh, I believe it's from when I started the car at a weird angle with it uh, jacked up after an old chain. But anyways, just wanted to uh, mount this camera to show uh, the fluctuation. We're going depth. Uh, I think there's air. We're going to burp it. Uh, we're going to check the level of the coolant reservoir tank. And then uh, here we go. We'll see this baby creep up to 100 degrees. All right, so we hit 100. It's getting hot. Over 100. So the thermostat engage. Dropping down. All right, guys. Got my coolant here. All right, guys. As you can see, we're really low on cold. So we're going to open this up and fill it up. There we go. I'm gonna burp this. Easily burp this. We're gonna compress here. So the concept is press goes here, goes up and down. See that? Up, down, squeeze. I should push the air bubbles out. You hear that? Very faint. Let's give her a try. All right. Let's get this baby to cruising speeds. Test this thermostat out. past the hundred. It's regular operation. All right, so that quick fix worked. Uh, my concern was going over 100 degrees. Uh, I don't know if it was much of a concern because the heavies do run a little hot, but it was just a change from my daily driving. So, that being said, if this didn't work, you could always park it, let it cool down for about an hour or two, pop the uh, reservoir cap off, turn it back on, let it run, let it idle, get, let it get it to temperature with the cap off. When the thermostat opens at uh, operating temperature, uh, it should circulate the air out of the system. Uh, and the air will be exiting out of the uh, open cap reservoir. So, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the dingling for notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.